Welcome into the Landry Football Podcast Network as we take you through the week that was in college football recruiting. Who committed? A little bit of notes about uh, how these guys stack up. It's uh, been an interesting week. Um, the 2023 recruiting cycle is in full swing. Folks, December will be here before you know it. We're getting ready to flip the calendar to October. So we got some news for you there. A reminder, you can get the most in-depth, qualified analysis of prospects, high school to college, college to the NFL, over at LandryFootball.com. My background, 40 years as an NFL scout, was a college football coach, college football recruiting coordinator, uh, an NFL coach, an NFL scout, an NFL scouting director. So we're here to provide you some unique perspective that maybe others can't, other than throwing a, a star by a name which tells you maybe not what you need to know. And it's why oftentimes it's very inaccurate and it doesn't play out on the field. So LandryFootball.com is where you want to go for all the game breakdowns in college football in the NFL, but all the recruiting and draft analysis as well. So check it out, uh, LandryFootball.com. Uh, take advantage of our football season sale. A reminder to subscribe, like, and share off the Hook Sports YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, subscribe, like, and share the Landry Football Podcast Network. So, as I mentioned, um, from this past week, you know, we'll call it the, the 17th to the, the 23rd, um, uh, there were 14 players committed in the Power Five, 11 prospects um, that uh, three uh, in the 2023 class and three underclassmen. Four of those players or, uh, and I don't grade them as stars, but I know that's how you associate it with them. But um, four of those players are four-star prospects headed by a pair of wide receivers that are among the top 100 nationally. So uh, the list of Power 5 schools that secured at least one commitment included Alabama with two, Auburn with two, Boston, Florida, uh, Boston College, Florida, and Florida State with two, Louisville, Texas Tech, UCLA, USC, and Washington. Uh, with uh, with one. So let's take a look at it. Um, Tyler Johnson, the tackle from Natchitoches Central in Louisiana, committed to Texas Tech. He's a three star kid. He's six foot six, three hundred pound guy. Um, he's uh, was recruited by uh, Missouri, Baylor, Arkansas State, Houston, Memphis, Tulane, those type of guys. He had ten offers, but his primary recruiter at Texas Tech was uh, Stephen Hamby, the offensive line coach there, um, and James Blanchard, also assistant. Um, the, the Red Raiders have been active and going after the guys that kind of fit their profile. This is their 26th commitment in the class of 2023. Uh, Jamarian, um, Harkless, the defensive lineman from Frederick, uh, Douglas high school in Kentucky. Um, another three-star guy, Auburn committed him. He's 6'4", 290, defensive lineman, um, Michigan Ole Miss got in on him a little bit. He was previously committed to Illinois for a couple of months, but he reopened his recruitment. Uh, defensive line coach Jimmy Brombaugh uh, liked him. He's the ninth commitment, as we know Auburn's situation is tenuous at best. So we'll keep an eye out on him. This kid's a good kid. He's not a, an elite player, but I would put him kind of in the top 100 of the defensive linemen in this class. And if you're grading them, and I grade them a little bit differently, I grade them kind of in the mid-purple area, which would translate um, to what you mostly commonly uh, understand as a three-star guy. Uh, he was a guy that was a nose who moved around a little bit. He can play three technique. He's fairly athletic. He can get up, feel pretty good. I think he plays with good leverage. Uh, can get stronger with his uh, with his frame. He can get bigger and stronger. Can add more weight. Um, they say he works really hard, so uh, that's really good. Um, I don't think he's. A lot of people have compared him to Montrevious Adams, who's gone to Auburn. Think that's a little bit high and probably uh, a little bit lofty at this point. But the kid has some ability, and I think has a chance to be a pretty good player, and maybe even trending towards the four star down the road, but not quite yet. KP Price, the safety from St. Francis Academy in Maryland, committed to Boston College. It's a good get for BC. Three-star kid. He's got length. He's 6'2", 175 pounds. He committed uh, over Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, and West Virginia. He's got 21 offers. This is, again, a good get for BC. Is their 19th commitment of this cycle. Um, he's, again, not a great talent, a great cover guy. 
but he can cover short area, and I think he's physical and it's some growth room. So a really good move uh, and a good get for them. Um, Katarius Hicks, the wide receiver from Miami Central, uh, another three-star kid. He's going to Louisville. He's 5'9", 160-pound guy. He committed uh, over at Tennessee, was interested. Um, Akron, Arkansas State, Bowling Green. I didn't like him as much as um, I'm a little bit surprised Tennessee uh, offered him. Um, he ended up going to Louisville uh, as an offensive coordinator. Um, uh, Lance Taylor has recruited him pretty hard. He's a very quick guy, um, and I think he's got a chance to be a good player at the next level. He's got good quickness. I think he's got good speed. Uh, he's got good play speed, but we'll see where this goes. Now, Jordan Raynaud, the defensive lineman from Tyler Legacy High School in Texas. He's going to Alabama. He's a four-star kid. He's 6'3". He's 245 pounds. Um, he, uh, he, uh, Alabama beat him out uh, over Oklahoma. He's, um, he's got a lot of offers. His primary recruiter was Holman Wiggins. Defensive line coach Freddie Roach was very involved in it. It's the 22nd commitment for the Tide. Um, he's, got, got, he's got good pass rush ability. He can close. Uh, he makes plays behind the line of scrimmage. He is ideal for Bama in that he's po position and scheme versatile. Uh, he's got good height. He's got good length. Um, you know, uh, he's athletic, He but he's stout. He plays with violent hands at the point of attack. He can flash those hands. He can get off blocks. He's got a good inside move. Um, he's got good testing numbers. Um, was it? Doesn't have great junior tape, but you could see that he's getting better and better. I like his pursuit range. Um, I think he can grow into a three technique. So I think he's an intriguing guy. Uh, I think he has a chance to be a good player uh, and uh, an outstanding player at the next level, actually. Jamoris Wilson, an interior offensive lineman from Lakeland, Florida, is committed to Auburn. Um, he's 6'5", 285 pounds from uh, Lakeland High School. Um, North Carolina, Georgia Tech, Kentucky, Missouri, Oregon, Pitt, Cincinnati, East Carolina type guy. Um, so a, a, a three-star guy for Auburn that, quite frankly, good player, not is going to move the needle for Auburn in any way. A guy that was a really good get uh, for Florida State this week was Blake Nicholson, the linebacker from Manteca, California. 6'3", 200-pound guy. Um, uh, you know, he he um, beat it. They beat out Oregon and UCLA for him. Lots of offers, really good player. I like him in coverage. I think he's um, got ability to, to, to play the run very well. Um, you know, uh, Randy Shannon was very high on him. 15th uh, commitment for the Seminoles this week. Uh, Danavian Pellet, the athlete from Silverton, Nevada, uh, is a three-star kid that is an athlete that can play multiple spots. UCLA gets him. He's 6'2", 210 pounds. Um, you know, Arizona, Washington State, Arizona State, Colorado, Washington, BYU, those type of schools offered him. Um, you know, uh, a, a good get for them. He's, I think he's really active defender. Uh, he plays really well on special teams. I see him as a uh, will linebacker type of guy. He's got long upside, strong lower body. Um, I think he carries his weight very well. He flashes instincts to close, good anticipation, good awareness, good burst and foot speed, change of directions good. Uh, I think he's got a chance to be a good player um, in that speed game. Um, another four-star guy that committed this week, Jalen Hale, a wide receiver from Longview, Texas. Alabama was big in the state of Texas this week, getting two four-star guys. Um, this uh, six-foot-one, 185-pound receiver, out of Longview High School, um, committed uh, over Georgia, Texas, Texas A&M. Um, Holman Wiggins, again, was a big part of it being the receiver coach. Good height, length, lean, athletic frame. Um, uh, he can add more mass. A really good basketball player. Uh, he's 200-meter long jump guy. Wiry, but, but uh, I think underrated strength. Good run after catch strength. Good, excellent body control. Good core strength. Um, Got the fluid movement, particularly dangerous coming back to the ball. Um, I, I think uh, he's got pretty good consistency in playing the ball in the air. Got run after catchability. Like his frame. I like his physical tools. 
Um, so really good get um, for uh, the the Tide here. Um, another three star uh, Dijon uh, Lafitte, the defensive line from Colony, California, is going to USC. I think USC needs a little better. Um, I think this guy's a good player. Maybe maybe can become a difference maker. But at this point, don't really see it on tape. Arizona, Tennessee, Utah, Washington, Boise, among the others. Um, he's the 18th commitment for uh, USC thus far. Good player. I don't see the great burst with him at this point. Um, another uh, great get, Florida State gets two uh, big-time gets, this, the, this two four-star guys. Um, from Strahan, Florida, the receiver, Hakeem Williams, great get for the Seminoles, 6'3", 200-pounder. Again, um, in Fort Lauderdale, that's a, uh, a really good get for them, beating out Alabama, Georgia, AM. Uh, lots of offers, big-time talent, freakiest athlete, good basketball player, another one of those guys, thick, muscular build, looks kind of like a tight end, a high school tight end, but explosive. Um and, and, you know, I think he really can get up and high point the ball. You see the basketball background in this game. Uh, he is uh, very, very good, very, very athletic. Um, he's going to need to master the technique of, of working um, his, the route free, but really good get for them, kind of a Nikhil Harry type of build. Uh, Chauncey Bowers, a running back from the Benjamin School in Florida, uh, is committed to Florida, a three-star guy, 5'11", 219-pound running back. They like him a little bit better than that, uh, than a three-star Auburn, Florida State, Miami, uh, Syracuse, West Virginia. Uh, good player. Uh, Jabari, uh, Jabari DeLuke recruited him very heavily. Uh, it's a thick downhill runner. He's got vision, foot speed. This is the type of guy that, that uh, Billy Napier likes. He's too talented to be the type of guy that he would have gotten at ULL, but he fits the mold, the thicker guy that's got instincts, can sidestep into a hole, um, you know, not uh, – can be good in pass protection. Uh, I don't know that he's that that explosive type difference maker runner, though, that they will need and that they see uh, in the upper level of the SEC. Jackson Jones, the edge uh, defender from Yuma Catholic in Arizona, committed to Washington this week. Three-star kid. He's 6'3", 215. Um, Colorado State, Fresno State, San Diego State type guy. Uh, I think they're betting on the on the come with this guy. The defensive coordinator and the linebacker coach, uh, William Inge, there really likes him a lot. He's got the frame to get a little bit bigger. Um, Landon Bell, the athlete from Liberty, Nevada, um, his uh, – uh, is another guy that uh, three-star guy that uh, Washington got this week. Really a good athlete, 6'3", 190-pound guy, uh, likely going to play on the defensive side of the ball, but, um, you know, he can play offensively. Jamarcus Shepard recruited him um, for Washington. Two-way standout. Um, guy can really run, and uh, he's got pretty good size for the speed. So that's a quick look around the week that was in recruiting in college football. Again, you can get this type of information, more detail, um, in the breakdowns of all these prospects over at LandryFootball.com. So uh, if you like recruiting, you want to get a professional NFL scout viewpoint um, and a former recruiting coordinator's viewpoint uh, of recruiting, head on over to LandryFootball.com. We appreciate and respect the work that the folks that uh, at the recruiting sites do, but they're not professional evaluators of talent. They have not worked as recruiting coordinators or coaches at the college level. They've not been NFL scouts, so we can provide it for you, not telling you what their NFL ability is going to be, but what their potential could be going down the road to the NFL, but more importantly, how they translate to the college game. So we give you a unique look at the college game. So make sure that you subscribe, like, and share on the Off the Hook Sports YouTube channel and the Landry Football Podcast Network. Subscribe, like, and link there. And uh, take advantage of the football season sale. Uh, over at LandryFootball.com. Uh, the 12 the month the deal is the best one we have at $69.99, but you can try it out for a month or take it for six months. Whatever is your pleasure, we've got it covered for you. Hey, happy recruiting. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on all the latest and all the evaluations. Give us feedback. Subscribe, like, and share, as we said, and we'll, uh, we'll bring you more of this type of information if this is what you like. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Enjoy the games. We'll talk to you soon.